Today we're checking out the new Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 Pickleball Paddle. This paddle is making some serious waves in the pickleball community and we're going to dive in and see why. So without further ado, let's dig straight into it. The Viva Pro Gen 3 comes in at a price of $169.99 and as always, I am constantly working with every company I speak to to get my viewers the best deal possible. Instead of the 10% off you get with other codes in the space, I was able to land a 30% off deal when you use the brand new code STS30 at checkout making the new Viva Pro Gen 3 just $119. That's over $50 off. If you use my normal STS pickleball code, you will only get 10% off. So make sure you use the new STS 30 code to get 30% off the Viva Pro Gen 3. Let's get something out of the way real quick. The Viva Pro Gen 3 is not a Generation 3 paddle in the way us reviewers are referring to a Generation 3 paddle these days. It is a Generation 2 standard thermoformed unibody design. It does have the same reinforcement layer found in the Viva Pro Gen 2 between the face and the core which amplifies the power a bit, but it will not have as much power as Generation 3 paddles which are utilizing more foam injection in different areas in the core. This is a Generation 2 thermoformed unibody paddle. Alright, so with that out of the way, I do have to say the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 is a looker. It's got a carbon fiber face reinforced with Kevlar, giving it a sleek and modern vibe. The graphics are sharp and the build quality is top notch. I do love the white edge guard and white grip. This isn't just about looks though. The combination of materials is all about performance. The carbon fiber portion of the face is designed for optimal energy transfer. That means more power behind your shots. And the Kevlar reinforcement, that's going to add a bit more of a plush feel off the face and add a bit of well time and some of that trampoline style effect off the face. This paddle feels really solid in the hands. Durability for me and I know for you is crucial, especially if you're playing regularly. I put this paddle through its paces, drop tests, intense gameplay, you name it. The Kevlar reinforcement and edge guard held up remarkably well. With no significant damage, this paddle is built to last. Let's break down the detailed metrics. The swing weight of this paddle is 120, which contributes to that powerful feel. Twist weight is 6 adding to its stability during off center hits. The paddle length is 16.5 inches. It has a flat top edge, traditional elongated paddle design. The overall weight is 7.8 to 8.0 ounces, which is pretty average, but with that slightly higher swing weight, it's definitely substantial enough for hot drives and serves. The thickness is 16 millimeters, providing a good balance of power and control. The grip length is 5.5 inches, and the grip circumference is 4 and 1 8 inch, giving it a comfortable and secure feel in the hand. I know you're all here for the spin numbers and the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 does not disappoint, coming in at 2116 revolutions per minute. Anything over 2000 RPM is always considered top tier. Let's go ahead and compare the Viva Pro Gen 3 to its Kevlar competition in the space. We have the current highest spinning paddle, the Spartus Apollo at 2318 RPM, the Honolulu J2K at 2232 RPM, and the Mark 1, formerly Mark Kinetic, at 2142 RPM. Keep in mind the Viva Pro Gen 3 is the only flat top edged elongated paddle on this list. I felt very confident hitting spinny serves, backhand slice drops, getting nice dip over the net on my drives, and spinning my dinks. On my power and pop scale, this paddle scores a 9.4 out of 10 for power and a 9 for pop. That's high. It's definitely more of a power oriented Kevlar paddle. Starting with serves, the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 delivers. You can feel the ball explode off the face, giving you deep, fast serves. It's effortless. Drives and overhead smashes are where this paddle shines. If you like to play aggressively and dominate at the net, this paddle is definitely for you. To compare this to its Kevlar competition in the space, we have the Spartus Apollo at 8.7 for power and 8.9 for pop, the Honolulu J2K at 9.2 for power and 8. 4 for pop and the Mark 1 at 9.3 for power and 8.9 for pop. So all fairly close but the Viva Pro Gen 3 does edge out its competition in the power category. Sweet spot wise I would say the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 is solid but given the shape and the traditional top flat edged elongated design it's not going to be topping the charts in the sweet spot category. It felt very average. Nothing to really complain about but at the same time nothing crazy. The Gen 3 comes in at an 8.6 for sweet spot rating. Comparing that to its Kevlar competition, we have the Spartus Apollo at 9.5, the Honolulu J2K at 9.3, and the Mark 1 at 9.1. Control wise, this pedal is not the best, but it's not bad either. More middle of the road. It has solid pop and power, of course, and that's really where it shines. And since it's not 100% Kevlar, it doesn't have quite the soft plush feel of, say, a Honolulu J2K, which is one of my favorite battles right now. So for control, I gave it an 8.5. Comparing that to its Kevlar competition in the space, we have the Spartus Apollo 
Apollo at 8.9, the Honolulu J2K at 9.2, and the Mark 1 at an 8.8. .8. As far as comparing this battle to the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 2 or really any of the other thermoformed top flat edged elongated battles in the space, I would say expect the Gen 3 to have a touch more of a plush feel off the face, have a bit more dwell time, and spin a bit more than its competition shape wise. I do have confidence that you will prefer the carbon fiber Kevlar blended surface and the feeling off the face more so than the previous Gen 2 version. And I prefer it over the other top flat edged elongated battles in the space. So to wrap things up, the Hudef Eva Pro Gen 3 is a more power oriented carbon fiber Kevlar blended paddle that excels in delivering powerful drives and serves to keep your opponents on their back foot. It's durable, comfortable, and performs well across multiple different types of shots. If you're an aggressive player looking to dominate with powerful shots, this battle is definitely worth considering. The power it generates is phenomenal, and it still provides solid control for strategic players. For players looking to add more power to their game without losing too, too much control, this battle is a fantastic choice. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or thoughts about the Hudef Viva Pro Gen 3 or any other battle drop them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future reviews. Have a freaking wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.